Subuan nun, doon na tayo usa ka confirm na positive case. I, Edgardo C. Lavella, City Mayor of Cebu, by virtue of the powers vested in me by law, hereby order, Section 1, stay at home order.
Welcome to the 57th Commencement Exercises of Cebu Institute of Technology University Elementary Department. Ladies and gentlemen, the candidates for graduation. Grade 6 Law. Grade 6 Faith. Grade 6 Hope. The Elementary Department Faculty and Staff. the academic officials. The Vice President for Academic Affairs, Sotorini Corazon Evangelista Valencia. The Vice President for Administration and MIS SPS Director, Mr. John Gregory Scario. The University President, ASEAN Engineer Bernard Nicolas Villamor. The Elementary Department Flag. The University Flag The Philippine Flag We begin our commencement program with the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. All please rise and place your right hand over your left chest as we sing Lupang Hinira. You remain standing for the singing of the University Hymn thereafter. Sí, 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 sí,
and give us his words of welcome, it is my honor to introduce to you our university president, ASEAN engineer Bernard Nicolas Villamor. Welcome to the 57th commencement exercises and the second virtual graduation of the elementary department of CIT University. Congratulations to the grade six graduates. Your elementary education is very important because it gives you a strong foundation for your future. The stronger the foundation, the farther one can go. One of the best foundations is having a great attitude. With a great attitude, one can deal with life's challenges, learn a lesson, and come out as a better person. With a great learning attitude, our challenges are opportunities for us to be creative, and innovative thinkers. Finishing grade 6 is a milestone and that is what we celebrate today. To the parents and family, we are inspired by your dedication to prepare your children for life. Indeed, parents are the first teachers and teachers are the second parents. We are partners as we model what it means to have a great attitude towards learning towards challenges, towards life. Let us show them the way and let us be mindful that we are their role models every day. Our children are very smart. If they see that we do what we say, they will remember it for life. That will give them a strong foundation for success long after we are gone. Finally, to the passionate teachers, thank you. You are the modern day heroes because you are nurturing the future leaders. Congratulations again to the grade six graduates. All hail maroon and gold. We shall now have the presentation of candidates for graduation by the principal, Mrs. Genabel Patrimonio. Mr. President, 
by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of the elementary department and upon the recommendation of the faculty for having complied with all the requirements of the Department of Education, I have the honor to present the candidates for graduation in grade six, school year 2020-2021. University President, ASEAN Engineer Bernard Nicholas Villamore will now confirm the candidates for graduation. By virtue of the authority vested in me, by the Board of Directors of the Cebu Institute of Technology University and in compliance with the requirements of the Department of Education, I hereby confer upon you the Certificate of Elementary Education Program. Congratulations! The presentation of graduates and awards will be done by the respective class advisors. The certificates and loyalty awards will also be given simultaneously. Loyalty is a very important thing for us, and the university would like to give back to you by awarding you with such. For the loyalty awards, pupils who have stayed with us since nursery will receive a gold medal and a certificate. Those who have stayed with us since kinder one will receive a silver medal and a certificate. Those who have stayed with us since Kinder 2 will receive a bronze medal and a certificate. And pupils who have stayed with us since Grade 1 will receive a certificate. To read the names are the respective class advisors. Mrs. Griselda Misterio for Grade 6 Love, Mrs. Almara Tito for Grade 6 Faith, and Mr. Emmanuel Bernales for Grade 6 Hope. The graduates of Grade 6 Love Abrazado John Volian, Bronze Loyalty Award. Casimiro Antonio Miguel. Chu Malkil Riobin, with honors. Escultura Jace Brile. Hinguyan Ian Yosef Marie, with honors. Juliet Carl with high honors, Gold Loyalty Award. Lim Sunderwolf, Silver Loyalty Award. Olivar Dwight Rafael with honors. Panilagao Shan Kale with honors, Bronze Loyalty Award. Panoncio Jefferson Dash Saison Vien Francis with honors Tito Noel Iniego with honors Silver Loyalty Award Villasin Ulysses James William Moore Aaron John Bronze Loyalty Award Abdul Muhaymin Hapsa, with honors, Bronze Loyalty Award. Anya Skiana Marie, Loyalty Award. Banugan Gabriel K. Biscara Yana Faith, with high honors, Best in English, Best in Science. Hermita Lara Anik, Loyalty Award. Infornon Therese, Loyalty Award. Nabwa Samantha Geniver, with high honors, Bronze Loyalty Award. Nave Jana Mikaila, with high honors, Silver Loyalty Award. Paderes Jael Kishna, Loyalty Award. Pipito Denis Kea, with honors. To all the graduates, congratulations. The graduates of Grade 6 Faith. 
Aligato Manrik. Celiona Axon with honors, Gold Loyalty Award. Cortez Sean Michael, Gold Loyalty Award. Flores James Steven. Uyao Luis Anton. Palacio Crickton John. Pantaleon Bjorn Jesse with honors, Silver Loyalty Award. Pinaranda Seed, Gold Loyalty Award. Ralios Irian the Nike with honors, Best in Filipino. Sosas Jarius Elijah, Bronze Loyalty Award. Tangalin Andre Gale. Ilaya Nathan Enzo. Batilaran Zoe Lois Beatriz, Loyalty Award. Blanes Juji Laika. Bohol Pepper Sky. Loyalty Award Boncha Candice Sheen Campaner Mary Fiona Gold Loyalty Award Dayundon Kezia Joy Lavain Helboyna Chelsea Claire Lim Samantha K Lopez Christine May, Bronze Loyalty Award. Mansueto Elisha Han, Loyalty Award. Onting Renoa, Silver Loyalty Award. Rosasenia Angelic, with honors, Bronze Loyalty Award. Villaruel Gaya Rosita. To all the graduates, congratulations! The graduates of Grade 6 Hope Adaro Isaac Philip, Bronze Loyalty Award Alcazarin Matthew, Bronze Loyalty Award Aligado Ralph Tyler, Bronze Loyalty Award Alforque Jeril Dave, Silver Loyalty Award. Aliviado Matthew Earl Stefan, Loyalty Award. Bardahe Ryberge Igiko. Boyles Liam Daniel, with high honors. Quasito Anthony Gregory. Fernandez Ace Nino, Bronze Loyalty Award. Gabales Carl Nino, with honors, Loyalty Award. Moanya Jedrick, Loyalty Award. Rafada Rocky Josh, Silver Loyalty Award. Regalado Jan Carlo. Loyalty Award Aroma Chloe Crystal Therese with honors Barrette Jenica Mariette Forosuelo Sofia Luis with honors Bronze Loyalty Award Gabriel Alessandra Valeria with high honors Best in Mathematics, Gold Loyalty Award. Garcia Kalo Haley, Loyalty Award. Manigo Samantha Nicole, Loyalty Award. Pacanya Samantha Elizabeth, Gold Loyalty Award. Shanko Keiko Gale, Loyalty Award. 
Kapitan Brianna Nicole, Bronze Loyalty Award. Tenebro Rayana Lizette. Valenzuela Leangelic, with high honors, Best in Araling Panipunan, Silver Loyalty Award. Congratulations! To all the graduates, congratulations! We shall now proceed with a message from the top student of Batch 2021. Let us all welcome Yana Faith Biscara. To our administrative and academic officials, fellow students, guests, a pleasant afternoon to one and all. Alas, our graduation day has come. It truly is exciting to be free from online school and finally be on full vacation mode. But before that, we must first celebrate our success for getting through this unique year. From physical classes, we have gone virtual. The usual greetings have gone from good morning to hello, hello, can you hear me? Our short chit chats during break times have become chat messages on MS Teams and Moodle has become the new notebook. Truly, this year has been a challenge. It was tough at first, but we all managed and got through it. Of the two years I've been in Cebu Institute of Technology University, it has honestly been awesome. I was a transferee, but I felt at home in an instant. I was surrounded by awesome and supported schoolmates who trusted me to be the grade five representative. Remember the play, Ang Puno Sa Gitna ng Eden during grade five? I'm sure almost all of us were nervous during the presentation. The practices before the play were incredibly fun. I would count it as one of the best memories in CITU. I never really had the experience to be on stage before, so I'm thankful that I got to experience it first in CITU. I'd like to thank all of my subject teachers. Thank you so much for being so patient with us. I will forever bring with me the lessons you have taught us. I'd also like to thank my family for supporting me and helping me throughout the whole school year especially to my parents for working hard every day to provide for my needs. Last but never the least, let's all thank God for helping us go through the hard times we had from last year till this year. I'll close my speech with an excerpt from a song my brothers introduced to me to. It is entitled Red Flag by Billy Talent. And the line goes, our only hope is in the minds of kids, and they'll show us a thing or two. For me, this means that we, the youth, play a very important role in shaping our country's future. We should use our voices to speak for justice and truth. We should use our minds and talents to create innovative projects that will help the people around us. As young as we are, we can already shape a better future. So let us, in our own little efforts, show the world what a creative and innovative technologian is capable of. Congratulations to my fellow graduates. Thank you, God bless, and see you next school year. To give us these words of inspiration, let us all welcome the president of the Elementary Alumni Association and is currently a junior aircraft quality inspector at Lufthansa Thacknock, Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. John Joshua Villiamore. First of all, I would like to congratulate you, the class of 2021. What a job well done. Being able to graduate in this time of a pandemic only means one thing, that you are more persistent, you are more motivated, and you are more focus. You were better students than ever. Like you, I was once a young kid who wanted a lot of things. I wanted a sports car. I wanted to go to the moon. I wanted to be a pilot. I wanted to be an engineer. 
I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be everything. I was always curious about a lot of things. I learned to play football. I learned to play the guitar. There were even times when I was learning fast, but also there were times that I was really, really having a hard time learning. But I never gave up. I remained focused because I wanted to achieve something. And eventually, I got it done. Now, allow me to share to you an old story about a race between a turtle and a rabbit. As the race started, the rabbit hopped so fast that he was able to circle the racetrack multiple times before the turtle could even make one. But even though the turtle was slow, he didn't mind the rabbit passing him by multiple times. The turtle was in fact happy and was just enjoying his small steps, knowing that eventually he will also cross the finish line. As long as he is motivated and persistent. I am sharing you this story to inspire you to live like either of the turtle or the rabbit. You choose. Do you want to be like the rabbit or do you want to be like the turtle? Nevertheless, going fast or going slow will not matter. What will matter is how you pursued your goals and plans. Remember, you are a new generation of hope. You are a newly formed generation filled with knowledge and experiences necessary for you to survive a chapter, a new chapter in your life. And instilled in you are the basic values and principles that will help you achieve your goals and plans for the future. Whatever you want to be in life, you should work hard for it. You should make a plan on how you should do it. Sometimes life will give you lemons. By lemons, I meant challenges and trials. When the time comes that you have to face those challenges, be strong. Remember, remember everything that you have learned from your teachers and parents and apply it as you face those challenges in life. Always put in your minds that you are better than everything and you can overcome everything. Always the best foot forward. Be like the turtle that even though he is carrying a big and heavy shell, he was persistent to cross the finish line no matter what. And be like the rabbit that when opportunity comes, you are fast to grab it. But unlike the race, life is not a competition. Life is meant to enjoy. Life is meant to share. Life is meant to make memories for. So do not be afraid to, new, to try new things. And above all, always put Jesus at the center of your life and everything you do. Again, to the class of 2021, congratulations. To give us your congratulatory message, it is my honor to introduce to you the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Attorney Corazon Evangelista Valencia. Michael Joseph Son, the lawyer who founded an ethics institute spoke ardently. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Graduates, and this goes to the parents as well. Because in the online setup, both students and parents do assignments together, learn together, sometimes argue together. It is true that behind every successful student are parents who have sacrificed successfully. And this truism had never been truer under the distance online education. Lawyer Joseph Son advised us not to forget to enjoy the journey because you're not supposed to suffer life. And education by itself is life. Take pride in how far you've come. Congratulations to both graduates and parents because you have been through a lot and you have traveled a long, long road. Just imagine a successful partnership between parent and student, sometimes making the teacher a redundancy because the partnership is so successful. Have faith for the future. 
Your partnership may be bumpy, sometimes frustrating, but notwithstanding everything, you've learned, both of you. You've learned about the classroom lessons. You've learned about each other. You've learned about life in the most intimate way possible. Sometimes, yes, sometimes, because the journey was so challenging, poignant, and intense. It is so touching and sentimental. And you learn to love each other more. As actress and businesswoman Jennifer Aniston said, there are no regrets in life, just lessons. With that interactive experience, high school will be another adventure that will cement strongly your parent-child relationship. My congratulations will also go to the principal, Jenabel Patrimonio, and the elementary teachers for tending and harvesting such a fine crop, for being vigilant to students' and parents' concerns, and who collaborated to create the environment, making possible this dynamic bonding experience. American actress, producer, and director, Kerry Washington said, your life is your story, and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. As always, CIT University will be here to guide you in your journey to a challengingly different, but nevertheless, a future to be learned, conquered, and enjoyed. Congratulations to the graduates and parents. At this point, may I request the graduates to please rise for the Pledge of Loyalty to be led by Lei Angelic Valenzuela. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge of Loyalty. On my honor, I do solemnly pledge my love and loyalty to the Cebu Institute of Technology University. Henceforth, my alma mater. I shall do my very best to hold in high veneration its good name and maintain the sublime virtues which it has bequeathed to me. To guard zealously against any taint of ignominy, this certificate, which shall stand as an emblem of a faith to keep and a vow to fulfill. So help me God. We shall now have the singing of the alma mater song we are technologians.
Let us all welcome the University Stakeholders Engagement Consultant, Dr. Arsenio Pacanya, for some important announcements. My heartfelt greetings to our beloved University President, Engineer Bernard Nicolas Iscario Villamore, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Attorney Corazon Evangelista Valencia, Mr. John Joshua Villamore, the President of the CAT Elementary Alumni Association, Elementary Principal, Mrs. Ginabel Patrimonio, faculty, parents, and alumni, good afternoon. As the stakeholders engagement consultant of our university, I would like to congratulate all kindergarten and elementary graduates of school year 2020-2021 with their proud parents. The pandemic has greatly affected our educational journey to acquire new knowledge for a better tomorrow. But the strong desire has motivated students with their parents to continue under the new online blended learning platform emerging successful this school year. In spite of the pandemic, the selfless effort and initiative of our top university, university officials, elementary administrators, staff and faculty, this virtual graduation ceremony is a reality today. I would take this dis distinct honor to announce to you honor graduates and top pupils from kinder to grade six, our scholarship tuition discounts. For kindergarten scholarship discounts, rank one will enjoy 30% tuition fee discount, rank two, 25% tuition fee discount, rank three, 20% tuition fee discount, and ranks four to 10, those with distinction, 15% tuition fee discount. For grades one to six, scholarship discounts. Rank one, 30% tuition fee discount. Ranks two to four, 25% tuition fee discount. Ranks five to seven, 20% tuition fee discount. And ranks eight to 10, 15% tuition fee discount. For grade seven scholarship discounts, ranks one to five, free all. Ranks six to 10, full tuition discount. I would like to reiterate my sincere gratitude to our dear parents and our alumni for continuing to give their trust and confidence in our university for the quality education of their children. We continue to pray and ask the Lord to end this pandemic as we become responsible and observant of the basic safety protocols because we believe that with God, we heal as one people celebrating our 500 years of Christianity in our country. May God bless us, the elementary department and CAT University. Thank you. To the parents and guardians, thank you for your continuous support. We wouldn't be celebrating today if not also for your efforts. To the graduates, congratulations. You all deserve a big round of applause. This is not the end. In fact, this is just the beginning. There is another road ahead of you. Take it with grit and confidence. Never stop trying, never stop learning. At this point, we shall watch and listen to the closing messages from our dear members of the elementary department. 
Congratulations, graduates, and of course, to the proud parents. This school year has been full of challenges for all of us due to pandemic. However, it also gave us the opportunity to reinvent ourselves. You are our first product of the online distance classes, the Made for Elementary framework. With this new normal, you have been challenged to reinvent your learning styles and we are witnesses of this reinvention. I know it wasn't a smooth sailing one, but look at you now. You've aced all the challenges. You've become digital learners who are not only hardworking, but also resilient and very creative individuals. These values contribute to your achievement leading to this momentous event, your elementary graduation. This is just your first step towards building your dreams. In the future, there will be more, but I am so confident that you'll be able to withstand it all. My dear students, you have made us so proud and grateful today. I wish you all the best for your future and hope to see you accomplish your dreams. Once again, congratulations. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. The long wait is over. Today marks another momentous event in your life, your graduation day. Today you will receive the fruits of your labor. This may be an end, but always remember that learning does not stop here. Every experience in life will teach you something. You just need to keep an open mind and open heart to see what lessons the world has to offer. It has truly been a challenging year for all of us. Yet, undeniably, it has been a school year filled with new learning experiences that unleashed your creativity and tenacity. As you embark on another meaningful journey of becoming high school students, I encourage you to work not just harder, but also smarter. Set your goals and stay focused on them. Keep your eyes on it. Don't let anyone or anything stop you from achieving them. Congratulations. I wish you and your family the best. Always work with perseverance, commitment, and resilience. Good luck and Godspeed. My dearest graduates and to the proud parents, my heartfelt congratulations and appreciation goes out to all of you on this pleasant occasion. It was just like yesterday wherein we were doubtful as to how this school year 2020-2021 will unfold, given that we had to go online fully. Alas, it has now come to an end, and we sure did end with a bang. You are now a step closer towards achieving your goals and aspirations. Amidst the changes and adversities, I have watched you enjoy and learn every step of the way. My dear graduates, Thank you. You may think that it's only you who keep learning from us, but you have done even much more to us, your teachers. You have given us inspiration and strength to evolve and not give up given this new mode of teaching. I admit it was a difficult transition, but you have all made it worthwhile. As the next chapter in your life unfolds, I hope that you will continue to come out of your shell and be ready to explore another journey of learning. I wish you all the best for the future and may your life be filled with happiness and success. Keep your head up high, be confident, be innovative. After all, you are a proud technologian. Once again, congratulations. My dear graduates, 
Congratulations! Acquiring knowledge is a journey, and in each journey, you've got to level up. I'm overjoyed that your elementary years has come to an end and made you more matured and ready to face new challenges ahead. I understand that learning under the new normal way of teaching is not that easy at first. You've gotten a lot of adjustments, and eventually, you were able to adapt to it until you made it now to your graduation. Every struggle and difficulty has made you more patient and resilient technologians. As a parent, my heart is overwhelmed with joy because one of you graduates is my son. To my fellow parents, thank you for your never-ending support for your children and to the department. This milestone we're celebrating won't be realized without your full support. To the graduates, your intellect has not only improved, but also your character as a student. As you move forward, I wish you new challenges to conquer and new adventures to discover. May the heavenly God guide you as you fulfill your dreams for your better future. Once again, congratulations. My dear graduates, you are graduating at a tough time, but I believe in my heart that better days are coming. Despite what's going on around the world, you are privileged and blessed to have been able to pursue your education. This may not be the graduation that you have long imagined, but do know that the achievement of reaching this milestone is incomparable. You've put in a lot of hard work. You've learned and grown so much. You've managed and adapted to the new normal very well. Your last year as elementary students may have not been spent in school, but I'm positive that you're going to remember this when you grow older. Today, we officially set you free from our care. Keep in mind, however, that you will always have a family in the elementary department. We will always be here for you, cheering you on, looking forward to your accomplishments, and wishing you all the best. Always remember, there is no limit to what you can do if you just believe in yourself. Congratulations! Soar high! Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the 57th commencement exercises of CIT University Elementary Department. Thank you and have a wonderful day. I, Edgardo C. Lavella, City Mayor of Cebu, by virtue of the powers vested in me by law, hereby order, Section 1, stay at home order.